Hey y'all, today on the farm we're going to address the most disputed issue in all of agriculture worldwide and that is which is better, Case or John Deere? We have a John Deere 9770 STS combine out here in the cornfield and we also in the same field running at the same time have a Case 7240. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of what's coming out the back of the combines, what's going in the grain tank, how many acres they're covering, and what are the repairs looking like. Before we head to the field, I want to show y'all my same logic weather station. The sensor station installation is incredibly easy. Setting up the weather station was incredibly easy. All I did was take it out of the box, put batteries in the sensor, which I mounted outside, plugged the interior unit into the wall. It also has batteries in the back of it in case power goes out. And if you have alarm set and power goes out, you don't want to miss your alarm. So it has backup batteries installed in it. And that was it. It cuts on, it's calibrated itself and given accurate readings without me doing anything straight out of the box could not be any easier to use i highly recommend it if you would like to purchase the same logic weather station for your farm i'll include a link in the description below you can follow that link to find out more about the weather station and where you can purchase one for yourself There's a few kernels down there. Right there in the center is a few kernels. Not throwing any out the sides. But right where the bulk of the material is in the middle is a there's a few kernels. Yep. And there's a broken one too. Just cracking some up and running just a few out the back. So Yeah. 
issues with, with cars and getting, getting the color to paint is the man on the machine and right. how good he can set up. What's the uh, high shield and corn you've ever uh, cut? 325. 325? In South Georgia? Yeah. With the Louis Ann Odom, which used to own this compound. Bought it brand new. Water standing right yeah, there. Yeah, it's slick out Ooh. here. Uh, bought this combine brand new. I was doing all of this hauling for it. Yeah. Yeah. 
especially with the, the low cost of the commodities, you don't got any extra money, so you can't be going to a dealership. You know, you got, you got to go fix it yourself. Yeah. I've seen the, the versatile track my brother-in-law got. It's extremely easy to work on. It's built where the farmer can do the work himself. And some of these other machines, like the case in the deer, I've noticed they kind of built them where they want you to take it to the dealership. They made it in a way where you can't can't fix the problem sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know. I did that that's, test. That's block. what we're seeing so far today. 234. That's what it's saying right now. And uh, yeah. And, uh, yesterday when we were doing that test spot, it wasn't the yield monitor wasn't working, but it, it looked to me it looked like more corn come out of this shorter corn than the top. Yeah, so the the decab had a fatter ear, some more rows of kernels. The high rate five had a longer ear but the kernels on the decab were bigger kernels. The kernels on decab were like long and they were deep. Yeah. The kernels on the hybrid 85 looked like a fingernail, uh, almost round. So a lot, lot less kernels to make up a bushel here than it is over there. I noticed I had a little bit of broke up cobs last year. It could have been the dryness of the corn, could have been a lot of factors at play, but yeah. this year your stuff is way, way cleaner in the tank. Yeah, yeah. So we, uh, Wheel come out where Cody come out and the human wheel the best wheel that got it set tuned and everything and then when I got on it me and Will did some more tuning to it when we were at Clay Crawford that got in some dryer stuff and started the end of the cob started trying to get in there and we yeah. tuned on it a little more and so what he's talking about with Cody he's talking about the tide board that the case sales rep got come out here from case so some dealer support come out here and help them get it fine tune so it would, it would harvest just right. Yeah, and Cody's good about it. Anything we have any problem with cutter, the baler, the combine, tractors, anything. If it's something that we need some help on, he's right there. He, he brings us, he either brings us the parts that we need or we meet him halfway from the middle. And for dealer support, it goes a long way. behind the case here and shredding the shred, spreading the material out a little more it's not wind running it quite as much there's a two or three little kernels there looks like the kernel count is about the same but he's he's spreading his uh debris out just a little bit more than the john deere is i don't see a kernel on a cob anywhere behind either combine they're all getting them off and there's not a lot of broken up cobs not they don't have the cylinder set too tight so they're grinding the cobs up and breaking them putting them into the corn they're doing a good job we got them dialed in set, so they're just shelling the corn off the cob and not breaking all that material up because if you start breaking the cobs cobs up you got your cylinder set too tight those broken cobs wind up in the grain bin and we don't want the cobs in the grain bin in our corn we want nothing but pure corn in the bin. So we've ran the two combines, the John Deere, the case, side by side. And what we have found out is that either one is the best one. It all depends on the operator in the seat, not the color of paint on the side of the machine. If you know how to set your machine, you know how to operate your machine, know how to maintain it, it will do a very good job. Both of these machines are great machines, but it all comes down to the man in the seat or the woman in the seat as to how it's going to do in the field. If it, one of them, if your local area, one of them has better dealer support, then that would be 
the bump that puts it over the edge over the other but either either of these machines can do a fantastic job if properly maintained properly set and properly operated i hope everybody learned something today about john deere and case and the differences in them and i thank all y'all for watching if you want to see some more videos about comparisons on the farm i have over 450 videos on this channel comparing different things from gmo to non-gmo corn to tillage versus no till spray versus no spray just infinite comparisons i do these videos at least one a week sometimes three a week for the last four years so if you like farming and you like comparisons, you like finding actual hard numbers, actual stats, actual figures, the real math behind farming, just subscribe to this channel. I thank all y'all for watching. Hope to see you next time.